welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica, or you can call me Jess. I like to do home decorating videos and show you ways that you can decorate on a budget and make your house look so nice. Um, I've done some updates in our master bedroom recently, and I wanted to show them to you. Um, maybe this will give you some inspiration to try something new and do a project on your own just to give your house a little bit of character and you won't break the bank by doing so. So, um, I will be sure to link my original master bedroom tour. That's where I kind of tell you more information and specific details about where I purchased pieces of furniture and things like that. So if there's anything that I don't mention, you can refer to that video or you can always ask me anything in the comments. Um, but let's go on and get started. master bedroom tour we started over here so we'll stick with that I've had these candlesticks here for a long time I just arranged some different ones just to give it some different colors and textures and then I've got a tray I just put a picture frame a candle and then that's not the candle I had originally there but I have done some a little bit of Easter decorations on my kitchen table because I will be hosting Easter lunch this year for the first time ever so I had to switch some stuff around so I know that candle is a little too big for the area but it's just temporary um, and then that vase is actually a jar that had tomato juice in it. I just washed it up real nice and I'm using it as a base. I liked this detail here. So that is where that came from. And then I just stuck some of my lamb's ear in there to bring some color and put some of my perfume bottles out here. And then we've also had the lantern and this candlestick for a long time too but I liked the way that looked together. And then this little ladder I've had for years, it used to have primitive stars and garland and stuff on it. And it's been just stored away in our spare bedroom closet ever since we moved. So I decided to take all that off and I'm using it as a blanket ladder. It's very small, but this blanket fits fine and I think it looks pretty cute. So that was completely free. I just redid it, made it plain and simple and I really like the way that looks. And then these were also on the kitchen table. If you have seen that video, you'll recognize those. So they're normally not in here either, but I did bring them in here to make room for the Easter decorations. And then the star of the show in here is this wall above our bed. I ordered this from an Etsy shop. I'll be sure to link the information in the description box. You can get any custom quote that you want and she has several different fonts to choose from and different sizes. You can get them painted or unfinished. Mine are just the natural wood. I liked the way this looked and it's a little bit cheaper that way. So I really love this so much. That song is very special to us. Um, I heard it for the first time when I was pregnant and we had some trouble getting pregnant. We tried for years and I was actually told after having a surgery that I had pretty low, I was told we had a low percentage chance of getting pregnant naturally. Um, so we had given up hope and um, I just decided I was gonna be content with my life the way it was. And then by the grace of God, I ended up having a positive pregnancy test. And then this song came out shortly after. So it's 
reminds me of Cortland, but also my husband because I know he was sent to me from God too. So yeah, you can pick whatever quote or song lyric or whatever you want and it makes such a pretty accent wall. And I used double-sided tape and just stuck those up there. It took a little bit of time and it was a little stressful, but once you get it done, it looks so good and it's so worth it. Um, so yeah, I'll be sure to link that for you all. And then I got this blanket at Burke's Outlet. I just wanted to bring a little bit of color in the room. This tray was on the kitchen table too. Um, so I've just, have been using it here at stores are remote that plant was on the mantle which I'll show you in just a minute but I'm trying something new I'm trying to have some live house plants around the house and hopefully it works out and I'll get rid of all my fake greenery but I do like this it's really pretty so I've just got it here and the candle was actually on the dresser so that what's going on there and Cortland's in his room taking a nap you'll notice his little cradle and the changing area we had over there are gone and it's so sad I've been an emotional wreck he's growing up way too fast so he's napping I can see him there on the monitor um, and this little window I found on clearance at TJ Maxx. It had a red sticker. I loved the details at the top. And I do still have to clean that off. But I really like this a lot. It's supposed to be a picture frame. Uh, but I just went through and took out all the papers that were in the window panes. And I kind of like it plain and simple. So I'm leaving it how it is for now. I do have an idea of a DIY I can do if I ever change my mind and feel like it needs something. But for now, I just like it the way it is. And this little sign used to be in our bathroom, but it fits perfectly right in between these barn doors. Let me back up so you guys can see. When our barn doors are open, you can still see the sign. It fits perfect there so I like that where it is um, this is what was hanging above our bed originally that was what we used instead of a guest book at our wedding so it has all our friends and family signatures uh, I have an idea we're gonna use some of that shiplap that we did in Cortland's room and just make um, like a background I guess to put that on and then I'll hang it over where the blanket ladder is on this wall I still have to take that command hook off but it'll be kind of center right here that's what I'm hoping for anyways so that is what we will do with that but it, I just put it up there for now <laughs> Okay, and then if you follow me on my Style of View Instagram or Facebook page, you've already seen the mantle, but I don't think I've shown you all on here yet. So I decided to baby proof this and get rid of the chippy paint that I loved so much. Uh, but obviously I love my baby even more and I just didn't feel like it was a hundred percent safe the way it was so uh, Blue went through and sanded this down got all the paint chips off and we painted it with a really thick coat of white paint and then I just went in with a brush and took some black paint just really lightly brushed it on to give it this um, distressed look 
because there was so much paint on here, sanding was not getting it done. So I just lightly brushed some dark paint on top to give it some character and I still need to fill in the nail holes. I still have not done that yet, but I love this so much. I was so scared because I really loved the antique look, but this is safe and it looks nice and crisp and clean and it still has all the antique feel. Um, the tile here is just peel and stick tile that I found at Hobby Lobby. It was only $12 and you get a box with 10 tiles. And this only took nine, so I had one left over. This took no time at all to do. Um, and I just love the character that this brings to the room. And before I had like an antique window pane propped up there and I just felt like this is safer. Nothing he can pull. Well, maybe he can pull them off, <laughs> but you know, it won't hurt him. Um, he can't get hurt with this. It's actually stuck to the wall. So I really wanted to show you all that. They have different designs and things. This would work as a backsplash or um, an accent wall. You could do so many things with those and they're pretty affordable. So I wanted to show you all that. And then this was in the master bedroom or bathroom. So it was the cross. I've just stacked some different books here. I've had that stored away in a closet forever. I never knew what to do with it, but I found that on clearance from Hobby Lobby years ago. And I think it looks super pretty up there. And this was just a picture frame I took apart and stuck the S inside. I got that from Walmart and painted it white. And then this is one of my little live plants that I'm trying my best to keep alive, but I love the pop of green it brings and it's super pretty, the leaves. So yeah, that is what we've got going on here on the mantle where our TV is. And then this pretty much stayed the same. That pillow was in the living room. I just brought it in here because it matched the mantle. And that had stayed the same. And the only other change I've done in here are these little wooden pieces. Let me back up. I ordered them on Amazon and it comes in a set of four. And I just painted them white. I think they were $10 unpainted and I took some double-sided tape and stuck them in the corners of our tray and it gives so much character. It just looks so nice and kind of gives you an antique feel. So that was such an easy DIY and not super expensive. Something you can do quick and just makes such a nice touch in a room. So yeah, I am so happy with the way our master bedroom looks. I don't want to change this for a very long time. I am really, really um, satisfied with everything in this room. I want it to be nice and relaxing and just stress-free in here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you comment below and say hello. I love talking to you all. I hope you have a great day and I will see you all again soon.